How'd you get off to such a fast start? Um, kind of just caught everybody that was coming my way and um, just made best of it, just try to get a feel, make most of my opportunities. After the, the first one uh, got called back, that uh, was a second down on the, the second drive, the 48 yarder. Walk us through that one a little bit. Uh, really, I was just trying to uh, make a play, honestly. Uh, we instilled that in uh, all the receivers this year. Uh, we're going to make a lot of competitive catches, and uh, I did a great job of making them. Is it hard to see that one coming? <clears throat> it was actually kind of tough, but uh, the defender did a great job of trying to get in my way. I'm sorry. Get in the way, make a good play. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's either he's going to make a play or I'm going to make a play. And uh, obviously, I came down with them. You've made a lot of high catches before. You were, you were on your knees when you actually caught that one. Yeah, that one was actually kind of difficult. Uh, I don't know how <laughs> I ended up falling, but I stumbled looking up, and then hey, your legs don't mess with your feet. I mean, your hands. I'm sorry. So uh, my hands is in the right position, but my legs they kind of gave up. So which one of those throws from Jalen was better? The the one that got called back or that one? I think the one that got called back. I like that one. I like that one more. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Nah, I'll take the first one. I'll take the first one, for sure. What was it like to see your young guys get out there and make some plays? Man, I was happy. I was like a proud father out there. Uh, <laughs> man, I was jumping and like, screaming all across the sidelines, and I'm just great to have them guys. Uh, they, did, they did a great job today. Um, obviously, they all touched the end zone when they needed to. And um, Jaden got some – we got some talking to do. <laughs> well, we'll talk about the Yeah, what's the – talking about the fumble? Yeah, he could have had two of them, but it's cool. Um, we're going to get that fixed, I promise. What would you think of uh, Spencer's uh, first action? Uh, I was actually excited. Once I heard he was first going out there, I actually gave him a talk, man. Go do what you do. You feel me? Um, and for him to go, th- go out there and showcase his potential, man, the sky's the limit for him. Does he? Get, does everybody get kind of excited when he gets behind center? Yeah, it's actually very exciting. Uh, all the hype and everything that he had going into high school, uh, coming into college is actually true. Um, he's a baller, and um, he knows what he's doing. What to you is the most impressive thing about him at this point? His accuracy. That's pretty much it. That's <laughs> well, it. pretty good in that, that yeah, drive. The, th- the touchdown throw was, we've seen his arm on tape. You know, right. We have, and we've seen him a little bit in practice. He's got a live arm, extremely live yeah, arm. Yeah, the man, He there's no limit to his arm is what I'm saying. Uh, he can throw as far as the best of them. The man, the difference between him and the next person he can drop the ball on the money. And uh, I feel like I see why he was the number one ready dual third quarterback coming out of high school. Did you think Tanner? Uh, oh, Tanner did day as well? I'm not, I'm not surprised by him at all. He showcased his ability. We all, everybody that had the opportunity, they made best of it. And mm-hmm. that's all you can ask for us. This game, uh, I termed it before the game. I was on a radio show and I said, they're not really playing South Dakota. They're playing the Texases and the Alabamas and the Clemsons. In other words, can you guys stay focused throughout a season to get to those games? How did y'all approach this game? Um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta play smarter. Uh, we approach this game with a lot more on the mental side of, that, uh, of the game. You gotta come in. No, you gotta, you gotta have that, that mindset. You're gonna win, but at the end of the day, you gotta have that mindset of how you're gonna win. Like you can't have dumb penalties as we did, and uh, we gotta work on that. Just no negative plays. You can't really take plays off or take a team for granted. And um, that's that was really the uh, the overview of our mindset. CD, what's the what's your confidence level right now when you? when you're being targeted in one-on-one coverage? <laughs> my my confidence, uh, I like me over the guy in front of me. That's pretty much it. And uh, going into this year, I told myself that if you man enough to guard me one-on-one, then you man enough to get God. So, and I feel like as a DB, if a DB has that mindset as well, they're going to be great. It's going to be a very competitive game. What about what you're doing is – is better in that regard than last year? Um, just catching the ball and getting the field. Uh, I'm taking a lot of pride in that, and I'm trying to use that to my advantage. Obviously, I'm bigger than the majority of the DBs that guard me, so just trying to use that and um, use my size to my advantage pretty much. What was it like tonight, last week, just, just two connections with Jalen, tonight a few more? Was it nice to at least just officially in a real game sort of get on the same page with him and, and catch some balls? Yeah, we've always been on the same page, but sure, for, sure. for the game, for the game, for it to show out, mm-hmm. man, it's 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 a confidence built boost, and um, he's done a great job of distributing the ball overall, and um, I just can't wait for plenty more down the road.